My name is Fergal McPhillips. I'm the Global Business Development Manager at Terex Washing Systems. My colleagues have talked you through the washing process from the agri sand, the agri scrub, and now we're at the point where we are treating the waste water. All of the dirty water reports in this sump tank where you can see the vertical shaft spindle pump behind me. From here, the vertical shaft spindle pump sends the waste water up into the deep cone thickener. And on the way to the deep cone thickener, we are adding the flocculant. Here we are on top of the DC220 deep cone thickener. The waste water from the vertical shaft pump pumps the material up and it reports through to this feed well. On the way to the feed well, the flocculant is dosed. So when the waste water arrives at this feed well, it is fully mixed with the flocculant and the flocculant starts to act immediately. So inside this feed well here, you can actually see where the flocculant is starting to bind the particles of silt and clay together, creating a larger mass and causing a heavier particle to sink to the base of the deep cone thickener. As the material thickened sludge goes to the base of the deep cone thickener, the lighter water rises to the top and wears over the wears on the outside here, which then reports to the overflow pipe, and that overflow pipe converts the water into the storage collection tanks, which is actually below ground here to fully be recycled again and put back into the wash plant. All right, well, we're now at the base of the deep cone thickener. And over my shoulder, you can see the conical deep cone itself. This is where the sludge is collected and compressed before it is sent out to the settling ponds. And you will notice that there's no pump here. The actual deep cone, one of the key advantages of it is it releases under gravity. It uses the weight, the mass of the water above the thickened sludge to push the sludge out through to the deep cone. It's a very large advantage not needing a, a, a pump. Also at the base of the deep cone, you can see where there's a valve arrangement and there's injection points, injection points for putting clean water in in case of the event of a blockage. The start of the deep cone is controlled via the control system. And the control system receives a signal from a hydrostatic sensor on the side of the deep cone, which tells the control system when the sludge is at a particular consistency, thick enough to be able to release out through to the deep cone. Hence, as soon as that goes through, the pneumatic valve opens and releases the thickened sludge through to the pond. 